So let's nail together one of Bedini's circuits. It's a schoolgirl project, I believe that's what it's called. Draw the diagram down, this is what I've done. Piece of board cut to the size of the template I've made. Components required tip 3055. IN4001 diode, IN4007 diode, this is not an IN4007, it's the only one that I've got this equivalent bit, uh, the circuit does require for an IN4007, potentiometer 1k, a resistor 100 ohms, neon bulb, that's what this is, and a few pins. This is the way I used to build them when I was a whippersnapper, young lad, many years ago, before I started getting into etching boards. This is the way that I used to do it. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, we've obviously got a board cut. I'm now going to cut that out, as marked, and glued to this board. Right, now that's that done. Uh, so, this is what I used to do in my early college and school days. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to knock all the little brass pins in. I hope that's close enough for you to see. We're just going to knock all the little brass pins in at the various points where on the diagram you can actually see, I don't know if you can actually see that, the little gold markers on the paperwork where we're going to solder to. Just basically solder the tags. Right, all my pins knocked in. I don't know if you can actually see that lot. So it just gives us somewhere to solder all the components to, which is what we'll do next. Or what I will do next. Start with the diode and we're going to put that on there make sure it's the right way round as the picture shows. Sorry about my big hands and my bung nose I've got a bit of a cold today I'm afraid. So basically just wrap your components round. Same with them all except obviously the transistor and the rest but I'll deal with that as we come to it. So now I've just gone and put those three little items on. Right, we'll just solder those ones in, so all we do is solder those in position. I think you will agree that's much easier than trying to mess about bonding your fingers and having crocodile clips everywhere. Plus if you are successful in doing what you're trying to do, at least you can show people or just pack it away and get it out tomorrow. Right, that's those three components now re soldered, and we're now going to fit a little aluminium plate, which is the heat sink for the transistor. Just for um, safety reasons, I'm actually going to cut out the paper, uh, just in case it does get hot and burst into flames. Highly unlikely, but um, that's what I'm going to do, just a small precaution, that's all. Right, and that's my little uh, heat sink fitted. As you can see, I've cut out the back, just as a precaution. And as you can probably see now, how that fits. And we'll now get that fitted. Right, we'll now solder the <coughs> legs on. Sorry about the camera quality, I uh, just can't seem to get it to zoom in properly a very poor quality camera. It was quite good when I bought it. Like several of them I bought, I don't know if you've noticed it, um, the, the, the quality drops off over a few months very quickly. So anyway, back to this. Just solder those three wires on there just to make sure you've got a good fit in. I'll now pan back out a bit. Right, that's that part of the circuit now done. And we'll now put the potentiometer on. Well, that's the little preset now fitted and you can see it's plenty sturdy enough for messing about. I'm now going to fit the neon bulb. Right as you can see all the components are now fitted to the board and I think you've got to agree that's much tighter than just crocodile clips everywhere and bits of wire hanging out everywhere and risking of shorting and causing fires and all sorts of nasty things. Now it's just connect up the wires as you can see on the board. The trick is again, uh, just to wrap round the post, solder it, wrap round the post, solder it, job done. I'm actually just going to use uh, the wire that you would use on the Bedini um, pulse motor, 
Um, so I'm not messing about with you know um, coloured wires and things. It is coated, so there's not not much problems with shorting. I know this is a bit difficult to see, but uh, all we're actually going to do is tin the end of this wire. The way to do that is to put the iron on. Clean the iron first. Sorry about that. I'm just an habit I've picked up over the years doing that. And if you just wait a few seconds, you see the smoke coming off. It actually burns it off just like so and as you can probably see or not see on that perfectly tinned on the end well, that's just halfway through I don't know if you can actually see the uh, all the wires fitted there and what have you just uh, put them all on uh, just for the uh, benefit of this particular video I'm actually following the cables precisely as I can just to show you that this is the uh, cheaper way if I wanted to build something I didn't know if it would work or not or something just temporary so I didn't want to etch a board this is the way I'd do it uh, you can actually draw all this out by hand I just happen to have a computer that can do it all or I can do it all on a computer and I just knock this one up just to show you how uh, if I was going to do one without a printed circuit board that's the way that I would do it and I think you must agree that's much much neater than having wires all over the place. Plus it makes it easy to explain your circuit to people. Um, people say, oh, you know what circuit you're using, they can actually see it there, literally. That is the circuit, no circuit board, nothing, that's it. We'll go and we're winding a little coil now and make a little motor just to see if that works. Well, my next video I'll try and explain how I wound this bifilia coil to go on the circuit just watch me build. Just my way of saying thank you to all the people out there that's left comments on my YouTube videos. I am trying to find some sort of website or forum where I can uh, put downloadable schematics for you and drawings and things but I'm struggling on that short of starting a new forum and website up myself. don't really want to go down that route. I already do far too much work on the internet. It takes up a hell of a lot of my time and I really haven't got time to do it. So if anybody's got a website or a forum that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple to use and would like this information on there email me and I'll send the relevant information to you thanks for watching <laughs>